welcome to uh, the channels uh, Tapaule Azul and Super Academico. Today we're going to begin to talk about some some themes that can be taught uh, all uh, or uh, both for uh, a channel for children and um, a channel about discussions uh, over uh, cultural uh, cultural movies uh, pop culture teams that uh, can please né? a lot of people also. so uh, in this first attempt of uh, have a, 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 a video in English I'm going to talk about the timeline of uh, the X-Men movies that were made by Fox, uh, 20th Century Fox, over 20 years, 20 years uh, from 2000, the year 2000, to 2021, 2000, uh, 2021. Um, bom, first of all, I have to say that the 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 uh, the movies uh, that are produced about uh, upon uh, comic books uh, have this problem of some adaptation. It's necessary to make the the, the language more uh, available to a wider audience. Uh. Uh, since the the people that already knows the comic books knows a lot of information uh, a certain expectation is is made né? Is, is created over the, the production of movies about comic books and I remember well that uh, when this first X-Men movie came to be in the year 2000 there was, uh, there were a lot of, uh, a lot of hype, uh, a lot of expectations about the movie, and uh, some people were pleased and satisfied, and other, uh, other people not so much. But the important thing is, there was the the the, the intent to transform one media, uh, one language that was written with image the comic books to the movies and it, that's always problematic because you have to make choices eh? and some choices n don't please eh? everybody and it's impossible to please everybody especially when you communicate you, you are trying to communicate something that is uh, in, uh, entertainment on the one side and is also a uh, uh, message a message that not everybody gets right? uh, I, 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 I invite you to subscribe to both channels right? and hit the, the the bell to get notifications comments right? about your thoughts about the movies and uh, I hope I can reach a wider uh, audience with these videos in English. Uh, first of all, the first two movies, né, the X Men and X Two, né, X Men Two, they were very successful, and they they uh, came in a time that uh, was a, a hunger for such movies, and the success of these movies, uh, and also the sex of the movies. Uh, of Spider-Man movies uh, of 2001 and 2003 made possible that we that to the thing we have today that uh, uh, the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe to exist because uh, they, they, they saw the producers uh, the people of money in Hollywood saw that there were people that were that were an audience to to make money uh, to, to make mon money to them <laughs> there was uh, the uh, audience that were uh, available to uh, get this kind of uh, content uh, the, so these two movies were very successful 
and they tell the story of these mutants, né? these people with superpowers that were born with um, some genetic traits that give them the powers that scares them, that fears, them, that they, they in, in inflict fears into others and hate also. Uh, one, one reminder uh, that uh, they were created in a time in the United States where there were a lot of hate, a lot of persecution over people uh, of different types, uh, specifically black people. That in the 60s, the 1960s, they were uh, suffer a lot of uh, prejudice, yeah, a lot of violence also. And so the spirits of this uh, came to be in this uh, fiction, fictional ca characters in these movies too. Uh, they they centered uh, the, these movies over the the character Wolverine, yeah, played by Hugh Jackman in all the movies. And for that thing, maybe uh, uh, did the the. The thing that uh, the movies were too dependent of he of the him. Uh, when in the comics, the the the, the character Wolverine uh, appears just after a long time after uh, they began to make the comic in the 60s. Wolverine uh, only appears in the 80s, uh, the the early 80s. After these two movies, there were this third movie of the X-Men, uh, The Last Stand, that was considered a failure, and uh, it displeased uh, the, the fans, and uh, displeased a lot of people because they used the, the Phoenix, uh, Dark Phoenix Saga, in a way that nobody liked, especially when she, uh, a, a so powerful being, gets killed so, so easily by Wolverine which creates the, the arch of the character that carries a lot of guilt for killing her uh, in the movie and also a lot of nonsense killings of, of characters like uh, Professor Xavier and Cyclops in the comics uh, Jean Grey, the Dark Things, she, she destroys planets with billions of people so she carries the guilt for that. And in the movie, she just kills Scott and Professor Xavier. So it's, it's strange that it put that way. It didn't get so good for many people. Uh, after that, they produced, uh, during the, the uh, writer's uh, strike, the movie X-Men Or Oranges. Wolverine, which uh, centers again in Wolverine with uh, his past before the first movie, uh, before this first movie. In this case, the great problem was uh, they arranged the movie without uh, professional writers, so it was very inefficient, and they did something that was that was awful. That is <laughs> March marked the, the Fox productions of Mutants movie uh, very poor, very, very displeased was the use of the Deadpool character played by Ryan Reynolds in the way, in the way that nobody liked it, not even him. Uh, it's weird. Then uh, with these two failures, uh, two failures, they reboot the series with X-Men First Class, which uh, passes them. Uh, over the 60s eh, and gets or regets the spirits of the first appearance of the X-Men in the comics in the 60s uh, which uh, was nice and was well received they use well characters like uh, Professor Xavier and Magneto and the, the, Hell, the Hell Club with uh, Sebastian Shaw and uh, Emma Emma forgot her name um, the, the white the white queen S 
but they centered the movie over uh, ma uh, Mystica, Mystic, 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 sorry. Uh, a character that uh, first in the other movies were secondary. Uh, she's just a psychic villain for Magneto. And here be she, became, she became a central, central character, being like a sister for Professor Xavier which doesn't make much sense when you see how she appears and is seen by Professor Xavier. That doesn't make sense. After success, after success of the X-Men First Class, uh, one thing that's weird in this movie is that they, they get the characters of different timelines and put together in a movie. For fans that knows things, uh, uh, find it strange, but uh, I think the, for movie makers they need to make choices that is possible to create a story that is nice for a movie, but sometimes it gets far from the uh, source material, uh, the comics. For example, uh, in this movie, X-Men First Class, there is the appearance of the Havoc character, uh, uh, Alex Summers. Uh, who is the brother of Cyclops but in the comics Cyclops is the oldest Cyclops is the, old, is the oldest brother and here he is much older than Scott which will you they will develop this brotherhood relationship in the X-Men Apocalypse so after the success of X-Men uh, in first class, they produced the the Wolverine, and uh, the Wolverine. The, it's a a solo movie of Wolverine that uh, the story takes place some time after the first the last stand, and the the character carries the cutes of killing Jean Grey. Uh, the the story uses uh, wo the Wolverine storyline, which uh, takes place in Japan, yeah, Japan. And it's a good movie. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't make much sense uh, the, the relationship between him and Mariko and <laughs> and the Silver Samurai. That the comics is very different, but they arrange in a way that makes kind of sense in the movie. And in in the end of the movie, right, the the post credit scene, they put a cliffhanger for the next movie, uh, the X-Men Days of Future Past, which was a huge success. Right? They were able in this movie to resuscitate the old series with the new series, put together both casts, huh? the cast of the original X-Men and the X-Men First Class, with a jump of 10 years from uh, First Class. Uh, first Class uh, is in 1962, and Days of Future Past is 1973, uh, during the the end of the Vietnam War. Eh? So uh, the, the movie was a great success. Some things don't also it's not very uh, faithful to the source material. They adapt a lot of things. They put together some characters that originally is not there the, the timeline the, in the storyline of days of future past but it works eh? they centered again on, on Wolverine and it was the, it's the character that jumps from time from the future where there's the war with the Sentinels then the Sentinels machine and goes to 73 to, to stop the Sentinels machine to for being of being invented or something like that with this movie, uh, it was started a new timeline uh, where the, the cast of First Class is put to construct a new timeline of X-Men movies, which follows the X-Men Apocalypse that jumps more 10 years, uh, 73, uh, here is 83, 1983, uh, passing during the 80. The 80s, and they they use uh, the, the the villain, the character villain, uh, Apocalypse, and it's in the comics is a huge villain, it's a very important villain, 
but the movie was not well received. Uh, people didn't like very much. Although there is great things in the movie, uh, uh, I think, for instance, the the <laughs> the costume of Psylocke is great. It's very very faithful to the the source material to the comics. But the the the, the way they brought the new Cyclops and the new Jean Grey uh, it was strange it, and they, they reuse Angel né? in this this movie which in the uh, last stand Angel appears as here the son of, the son of a, a billionaire that makes a cure for mutants and, and here he's just a cage fight guy né? it doesn't make any sense but Okay, uh, you can not expect so much coherence in these movies because they, they, they are made to entertain and make money for the producers and for the, the company. Uh, and for, uh, uh, it's, it's bad, uh, uh, it's fortunate that uh, the, the MCU created for fans, the opportunity of uh, the development of th these characters now, and uh, the, the, the mutants will will be developed in the MCU and uh, respectfully in uh, the right way, in you know, the nice way, a nicer way. Not that uh, this this these movies were bad for C, as not, but they they were incoherent sometimes but uh, in defense of these movies the comics of the x-men are also incoherent there are too many timelines too many histories stories that happens in the same time with the same characters that doesn't make sense uh, for example one thing that people always come uh, to attention I always call attention is that in the x-men the future past the Bolivar Trask character is played by, uh, uh, I forgot his name, that uh, the little guy uh, uh, that plays him and in the, I believe in the last stand, what, two? I think the last stand, last stand, is played by Bill Duke, it's a huge black guy, uh, it doesn't make sense, and also the, the, the appearance of a, a, a young né, teenager Jean Grey in the last stand in a year and the, uh, after uh, uh, another young Jean Grey appear in Extreme Apocalypse and in the Dark Phoenix that's the last movie that were produced with the X-Men franchise with the name X-Men there's another Jean Grey child that, that, that it's strange it's crazy but uh, the X-Men Apocalypse serves also to introduce the the the, the presence in the background of the character uh, uh, Mr. Sinister and uh, the, the Nathaniel XS SX with his corporation that manipulates genes and mutants over the history who uh, read or saw the comics know about the presence of Nathaniel Sex. Uh, in the post credit scene, uh, it appears a briefcase with the name XX Corporation. That's something that's not developed, but it serves to uh, the Deadpool movie, to Logan movie, and to New, Munit, Mu Mutis, New Munit, Mutants movie. New mutants, new mutants, <laughs> mutants, new mutants movie. So, uh, what happens is that um, the Deadpool movie came after the the, the, the failure of uh, X Men Apocalypse, and was a refreshment in the mutants franchise of Fox and eh? Fox mutant franchise with the the. For, uh, for 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 breaking the the, the irony the, the the humor that Ryan Reynolds and the character that who brought to the movie uh, he takes the blood of 
Wolverine that was collected in this movie. We can see in the end of this movie, in the post credit scene, that the blood of Wolverine is taken and put in the briefcase. And in this movie, Deadpool, his blood is inserted in Wade Wilson. So it develops his Q fat factor. So he becomes Deadpool. It's a very good movie, it's very funny. Afterwards, uh, with the R rated movie. Uh, success of this Deadpool, uh, they they greenlighted the Logan movie that was uh, is considered the best Wolverine movie that was made, which is in the timeline the last one. And uh, sorry for the spoiler, but uh, in this movie Logan and Professor Xavier dies, both dies. But in the end, the Logan's daughter uh, or clone. Uh, X-23 she becomes the like the, the face of the hope for the future for the mutants in this micro universe uh, Fox micro universe it's a very very good movie it's R rated it's very violent but it's great it's a great movie Deadpool 2 was produced right uh, after uh, in 2018 uh, uh, again, Deadpool, uh, Ryan Reynolds play with Marvel, with Fox, with X Men, with everything. It's a, there's a joke when he's uh, walking around the, the X Men mansion and complains that it's uh, empty, there's nobody there. That uh, the success of the first movie should have uh, given him. The, the the presence of more X-Men and not not just two or three yeah. and it's a, in a funny way the cast of uh, X-Men Apocalypse uh, Professor Xavier Beast um, I think Quicksilver and Storm I think that well Nightcrawler too I, I'm sure that uh, Mystique wasn't there. Appears in the lore very quickly, but it's very funny, very funny. And he, he, he plays with the, the actor, eh? uh, uh, Josh Brolin, that plays Cable, eh? which is a character, very complicated character. He's the son of Cyclops and Jean Grey, and the, the, uh, of, a, of a Jean Grey, a clone Jean Grey in the future. That travel through time to do something yeah, it's very but they simply simplify the, the character for the movie which is very common because uh, uh, the movie uh, Hollywood uh, has to put the movies in the way that all audience can watch uh, and not depend on references but uh, nowadays the, the fans command the show and the, uh, we ask as fans that they they respect more the source material that's what hopefully uh, the MCU will do with mutants from now on and so Ron Renz play with the <laughs> with the character of Josh Brolin calling in the movie the, the, he's playing the movie the, the character character uh, Cable but Deadpool calls in Thanos that is the character of Josh Brolin in the MCU that's very funny so uh, finally in X-Men Dark Phoenix uh, it's a movie that made like in the, the closing doors of Fox after it was sold to Disney so uh, I think the money was already given they have to make that, that the feeling that we have watching the movie the actors seems to not be very happy of doing but it's, it's, it's an okay movie you can watch but uh, it's strange to to have the the dark phoenix being again a character uh event uh, events events an event sorry. an event that is used so poorly in the movies eh? in the in the comics the phoenix is uh, the cosmic being that enters Jean Grey's body and she has the power to absorb that but 
chicken control. Oh, but, yeah. but there's no aliens expecting to, to, to get things powered. Uh, it's uh, not okay. That uh, was weird. I believe the character of uh, Jessica Chastain in the movie, I don't remember the name, is to be like a mirror for, uh, for Emma, né? The, the, the White Queen of the Hell Club that was already dead uh, in the timeline of the X-Men. She was killed before, between first class, she's here. Yeah, she's here in first class and off camera she's killed and mentioned, just mentioned in the Days of Future Pass. So since in the original uh, Phoenix Hitch story there was the, the, the White Queen, uh, I wish I could remember the name. <laughs> Emma, alguma coisa. Emma something, I'm Emma something. Because uh, the, the character of Jessica Chastain uh, seems, uh, seems visually with uh, the white the white queen, but it's not it's just a random alien that wanted the phoenix power. So the movie was a failure, uh, it was a flop. Uh, it was finished. Uh, there was no way of intention of continuing. I think. Because uh, Disney had already bought Fox and they were planning to do a reboot of Mutants in the MCU. That's obvious, né? that's the plan. Maybe they use the, the, this, this universe in a sort of way, uh, like they use uh, the other Spider-Mans in the Spider-Way No Way Home, or in the multiverse uh, somehow like the appearance of uh, uh, Sir uh, Patrick Stewart in the movie uh, Doctor Strange Multiversal Madness that he appears as Professor Xavier like a reference, a homage of these movies I think, I don't know but it's a way to appeal to fans right? like people that know one thing or another you can't forget the last movie that was produced was New Mutants. Uh, here is in Portuguese, Os Novos Mutantes. Uh, New Mutants. New Mutants. Which is a movie that uh, calls for the, the story of young mutants that are trained uh, to be new X-Men. But in this case, it was like the more like trained to be weapons for the SX Corporation. Yeah. It's a okay movie, yeah. it's a good effects, uh, good performances, but uh, there again, it was just the closing doors of Fox over Mutants. And here there is a timeline of these movies, which is very interesting. Interesting. Oh, I hope. With training, my English improves doing these these videos. Uh, the in the the timeline, uh, the first movies, the first movie is in 1962, X-Men First Class. From then, will be developed the story of X-Men Origins, uh, 1979. Since Wolverine has a long life uh, in these movies reveal that he's uh, born in in the in the middle okay. of uh, 1800 1800s and fought a lot of wars over the story the history this history I'm sorry in Portuguese we don't have two words for story that are made up and history that is all effects so yeah, just one word so sorry and after the, the X-Men origin he gets his mind wipe no? and is the, in this period of uh, 15 years no it's more like uh, 79 2004 20 25 years uh, 25 years 
it happens the events of the first and second X-Men. You see 2004, 2004, but the movies were made in 2000 and 2002. Then there's a little gap to our last stands. Then seven years later is the Wolverine with Wolverine carrying the guilt. And then there is the uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. As I said, from the Wolverine to Days of Future Past, the, the, the Wolverine, there's the end scene, the, the post credit scene, where he's the, the cliffhanger for Days of Future Past. So there is 10 years of war, destruction of mutants, the ascending of the sentinels, and so on. So there is the time travel, time travel, time travel always fix everything. <laughs> so here, he backs, he back to 73, creating a new 2023, where everybody's alive, there's no war, etc. From this 73, with a new timeline, uh, there's more 10 years, and apocalypse happens in 83, then more 10 years, nine years, there is the Dark Phoenix, and in between the 90s and the uh, 2016 uh, Deadpool, there is the place at the time when happens the new mutants, where the mutants are caught for experiments for uh, by the, the excess corporation, which is referred as a uh, flash forward to the Logan movie when they continue to do experiments with children with uh, mutant DNA, which creates X23, the, the character that is the daughter of Logan. Uh, Deadpool, Deadpool, though, too, uh, are movies that happen in the our period is like the contemporary movies is the, while the others are placed in the past or in the future this uh, these two are placed in the time we're living in time the time we're living in 2018 the mutants are already seen recognized and fear some are heroes, some are villains, there is a special prison for mutants, etc. And also there is the, uh, uh, the work of the XS Corporation creating soldiers, uh, super soldiers, super slaves, like the attempt of Deadpool. And also uh, the, the, uh, running the, the orphanage where happens part of the uh, story of that Puchu. And finally, uh, the Logan movie, where he's very old, uh, 2029, passing the future, uh, a far future, that were developed after the new 2023. Então, the new 2023, the mutants are alive, the school are okay, but sometime uh, after, there was uh, some kind of incident with <laughs> Professor Xavier, or seemed to be. In the movie, is not clear. He made something with his mind and killed a lot of uh, mutants. Remaining, uh, the f a few, Logan and, him and, and Professor Xavier flees to the board of Mexico, or to Mexico, actually, to Mexico. And there, they expect to raise money to uh, get away somewhere, I don't know. When the, the new mutants, né, the, 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 the young mutants that are developed by the experiments of XS Corporation, uh, make appear the X23, that's something that uh, someone, that someone, a young, young woman or a young, young lady, teenager, that uh, returns to the 
hope about the survival mutants. So I think in the end the Fox developed some good movies, some bad movies. They they didn't have what the MCU has. Yeah, that is uh, some kind of core core of uh, storytellers that knows that they live in the same universe and try to develop some kind of sense or coherent sense about the characters and the, the stories and the, the link between one and another but uh, uh, if you if uh, uh, if you try hard you can make some sense with this timeline and discover that is a, a interesting story about these people that are different and they need they want to live in peace in the world but of course uh, it's fantasy right? it's fiction so it doesn't make sense that someone a group of people born with a problem a problem uh, with a different uh, trend in their gene but each one has a different power it doesn't make much sense uh, supposedly they should have the same ability i don't know something like that but then again it's a creation fantasy of people in the 60s that want to make a stand about the civil rights and use that as a, a fiction history that make money for them so that's for now i hope you enjoy subscribe to channels and hit the bell to get notified and comments and please forgive my english i getting back my my prats about it so in, in time i will improve this and also because right next to me there is people make a lot of noise so i hope you forgive me and keep watching our channels bye